working on yet another dead MacBook. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Every time I get to see another queue of dead MacBooks, it just makes me so happy to know that people are out there killing these things. Yes, it does indeed make my day. So what we're gonna do here, first things first, de-corona the desk. Ain't no beer virus gonna exist in my store. GTFO, Corona, GTFO. Then we de-corona the MacBook. De-corona the MacBook. Die, Corona, die. Die, Corona, die. Ain't having no Corona in my store. No Corona here. No Corona anywhere. No Corona. Corona free. Kick that Corona's ass. Ooh, it came with a note. Doesn't boot, try different chargers. It's an expensive paperweight. Finally, someone that understands what an Apple product actually is. How are we all doing today? Everybody? How's it all going? I hope you're all having a lovely day. Hope you're all having an excellent day. A quality day, a robust day. Let me just lower the bit rate. Seems like Twitch is not allowing a stream because I made the stream too robust in quality. Apparently my entire intro didn't get recorded. That's sad. Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're gonna to be working on yet another dead MacBook. This is an A1707 that doesn't power on. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a queue of dead MacBooks because it means there are still people out there killing these things. Yes. First thing we're gonna do here is decorona it. We're gonna decorona this MacBook, get rid of all the coronavirus on it. Get rid of that corona that's on my desk. Die, Corona, die, no beer virus in my store. GTFO, beer virus. Have a great day. How is New York now? Uh, New York is doing all right, doing all right. You know, same old, same old. People getting sick, people dying, businesses shut down, landlords still want their rent, banks still want their mortgage. You know, same old, same old. <sighs> Same old, same old. So. Oh Let's get to work. I'm gonna take my Penelope screwdriver and use it to open up the bottom of this MacBook. And after we open the bottom of it, we're gonna see what's wrong with it and make it work again. That's what we do here. We fix MacBooks that are dead. Why do MacBooks die? Why do birds sing? Why does the sun shine? Same as India here, virus is a bit controlled now. Well, I'm glad to hear that it's going under control where you are. It's always good to hear good news. I hope the best for you and your family. Yes, I have May Day, and I was going to arrange an interview with him. I just have not yet had the time. I actually did an interview with him regarding Amazon, pulling all the people that were selling used MacBooks on Amazon a while back, two years ago. You can find an interview with him on my channel. So we're opening this thing up. This is a MacBook. It's a MacBook. It's a MacBook. Aren't you excited?
P3V3, R3V0 is still shorted even after removing U4700. Define shorted. Also, stop giving me money. Elite says thank you. For what? What have I done? First thing we're going to do, same thing that we always do on this MacBook. Pinky, try to take over the world. I mean, we're going to check and see how much amperage it's taking when the battery is unplugged. <laughs> that, what, what? Okay, fir firstly, stop giving me money. Secondly, what is that? 0 0.004 short to ground. Zero, zero, four, what? That's like saying I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred what? A hundred beats per minute? A hundred inches? A hundred pounds? Like, wh wh what are we talking here? So, it looks like this MacBook is taking 16 milliamps at 19.97 uh, volts, which is pretty bad. It means the CD3215s are working. Is it not taking enough that it would be a PP bus short, because a PP bus short would take more amps than that. So we don't really have a lot to go on here. We don't have a lot to go on here. And James, give me some units, and also stop giving me money. I'll read the chat if you don't donate. You're just a good boss, and you care for your workers. Um, spoken like someone who doesn't work here. <laughs> Working here is terrible. Working here is terrible. I know. I work here. Anyway. So the first hint that I have here, and by the way, this uh, shaky cam is going to be going away soon. I got a tripod from Amazon. It's supposed to be coming tomorrow or the day after. A real tripod that doesn't, you know, like this heavy duty one that's uh, supposed to some C stand thingy, whatever the hell that goes so it can go up and over the desk and not shake all the time, or at least as much. So the first thing that I see when I open the machine, and I'm just again, I'm just going to go for what the machine tells me. Uh, I see that there is what looks like little puffs over here. That looks like little puffs of something. Like you see how that's nice and clean, and how that looks kind of like there's a burn mark. So I'm kind of curious what exists under this connector. You know, my curiosity is getting the best of me there. And it's not burned at all, actually. This looks like it's in perfect condition. But just for the hell of it, I'm going to plug it in and see if I get anything different after I do that. COVID is like Apple, says Matutz. 0, 0.00 volt short. Okay, stop giving me money. And secondly, what... What, that doesn't make sense. Uh, you, you measure a short in ohms. So you're going to put one probe on ground, the other probe in the power rail, and then you give me the ohms. I don't know what 004V is. And also, stop giving me money. All right, so when I unplugged it, it's interesting because now it actually got worse. It says 5.1 volts, 27 milliamps, and it's not going to 20 volts anymore. It was going to 20 volts before, but now that I've unplugged the trackpad, it stopped doing that. And now it stopped turning on at all. Oh, oh. It's diode is what he measured. Yeah, but di diode mode's not going to tell me much here, especially on a low power rail. Stop telling me not to give you money is like telling Trump to not mishandle the COVID response. <laughs> also, did I not get a stream alert? I don't think you did. And yeah, you're funny. Yeah, I triggered a lot of people in my video yesterday. I didn't even say Trump. I just said government mishandled, and I got a bunch of shit, which was hysterical. Oh, man. I got so much like, but what about this country? And what about that country? And it's like, I don't give a fuck about it. And this, this is where I can't run for office because I say stuff like this on stream and it would get taken out of context. But I don't give a fuck about the other countries. I don't care. We're talking about us. What could we have done better? What could we have done different? What mistakes did we make? I don't care about what other countries did because I don't live in another country. I live in this country. And because I live in this country, I care about this country's actions. I care about how this country responds to things. I don't give a fuck about all the other countries. I'm an American. 
I'm a true red-blooded American. Don't judge the response until the pandemic is finished. Zero point zero one ohm and lightning speed. Let's see. I mean, what I would do is just inject three volts into that rail and see what gets hot, James. You know, if if you give up, if you're confused as to what it could be, I would inject three point three volts in. Like, what's the worst that could happen? You shut your mouth, Thomas Wang. Lewis running for mayor saying he doesn't give a fuck fuck about other countries. Indeed. Johnny, what country are you in, Johnny, from Stovner? Or state? I'm still new to this. I apologize. 0 0.002 K ohms. Okay, so that's, so first thing you're going to need to do is, the only thing you need to apologize for is continuing to give me money, because I would read your chat if you didn't. You give it, you donate it up. So on your multimeter, you're going to have range, right? So, uh, I just knocked something over. But, nah, let's see, what did I knock over? There we go. So, you're going to have a range setting on your meter. So when you're measuring resistance, you want to hit range until you're in, like, for example, I don't want to measure in the millions if it's a low number. So you're going to do that until you get normal ohms. So 0 0.0, let's see, 990. So you got about 20 ohms there. The thing is, your, your scale is really off, so you're not going to get a good number. So adjust the range on your meter until you're at normal ohms rather than kilo ohms or anything like that. And f for the love of all that is holy, stop giving me money. But my advice is still going to be the same to you. Put three volts in and tell me what gets warm. Sweden. Yeah, Johnny, you know, that's one of the things cause it, that's interesting. Because, like, a lot of Americans will shit on places like Sweden. You have too much regulation. You have too much taxes, too much taxes, too much government, too much taxes, too much government, too much taxes. And to some extent, I could see what they're saying when it comes to certain, certain aspects. I'm not going to say whether it's better or worse. I'm just saying I could see where, where someone who is for smaller government or less taxes comes up with that. And it's really interesting to see that Sweden is the country that doesn't lock everything down and destroy its economy, which is very interesting to me. Because in some ways, there is a, a level of freedom that you have in Sweden that you do not have in the USA. And this crisis clearly uh, articulated that. I voted for Trump. I felt the businessman in the White House would be a good thing for the country. I still feel that way, but I will admit I chose poorly. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people have said that he's not even a good businessman, but just the fact that he was a businessman at all, even if you were a bad one, you're going to have a certain perspective on things that someone who is not a businessman doesn't. You're going to understand what helps business, what makes it work, blah, blah, blah. But uh, what, what got me was the tariff thing. And like that, that was the moment for me where I realized I don't even care if you were a businessman. I'm f like, you know, you're, you're not... You know, help me one bit. Because with the tariff thing, the way the tariffs worked out is if you apply for the tariff exemption immediately, you can get a tariff exemption. But if you apply for the tariff exemption a certain amount of time after the tariff has passed, you can't. So that means that no newcomers can enter a field. That is complete and utter cronyism. That means that if you have been selling hamburgers for the past two years, you're able to apply for your exemption and you can keep selling it, but if your hamburgers suck and are stale and are shitty, there's going to be a 25% tax on the newcomer that wants to come in and try and establish themselves as a superior hamburger vendor. That's really like that, That's what that kind of thing does. Why haven't you switched to one of my automatic screwdriver? I don't know, I'm not crippled yet. This thing, like, I understand why people voted for him. You know, one of the things that's been going on is, is the people that did vote for Trump, uh, when they say that they did, they get treated as outcasts, Nazis, evil, whatever the fuck, and all that shit. And what it causes them to do is, what I realize is, this goes both ways, is 
it causes them to go into their corner and say, well, fuck. Now, you know, th then they have to defend everything that he does to support their decision, because if they don't defend um, everything he does, and then it goes against their decision to vote for him, because they personally identify with the decision to vote for them. So that's why I, I don't really shit on people, because they voted one way or the other, you know? I just say what I think at the time, and it is what it is. Unless you voted for Charlie Brown. <laughs> But you could see, it's that, that's what drives partisanship, and that's what drives people into becoming more and more ideologically possessed. And like, you can tell when someone's speaking their ideas versus other shit. You, you can tell when someone has a brain and when someone is just a puppet for, for something else. More and more people on each side of the aisle appear to just have become cheerleaders and puppets for someone else. And they get really... You know, if you actually feel mental anguish and pain when somebody from, quote, your side gets something wrong or when someone from another side uh, says something and brings us a point, if you actually feel it in your gut, like this emotional wrenching pain, then you got to check yourself. I really hope that people in, uh, start doing that before it's too late for everybody. Because I miss the times when people could have actual rational discussions without losing their mind and... You can tell immediately when someone becomes, when someone stops speaking from their, from uh, their opinions, their thoughts, their mind, and is speaking from someone else's. Is it interesting to hear your thoughts based on facts, how ridiculous this is to compare us to other countries? Yeah, it's the interesting thing, because, you know, I, I lean conservative, and when you tell conservatives, well, this is how they do it in this country, this is how they do it in that country, well, you know, typical general idea is, well, we're America, so fuck that. And usually I'm for that, you know. I don't, I don't give... Uh-oh, two at the same time. Who's the only person asked not to give him money? Trump only got his millions from his dad! I feel if he didn't have a rich dad, he would just be an average Joe. If you get crippled, by ES-121 screwdriver, not Zomi one. Hopefully I don't get crippled. All right, so we got the board and the desk. So what we're going to do here is make a couple of measurements, try and figure out what's going on with it, see if anything looks obviously screwed up. from Germany. Hello. I don't agree with everything Ben Shapiro says, but he's quite intelligent and has good arguments. I like the fact that, like, you know, I don't agree with everything the guy says, but you, you're not going to find anybody you agree with entirely. I like the fact that he was actually able to sit down with someone like... Uh, one of the, th the interesting things, and you could really tell where shit was going bad, if you watch Ben Shapiro's interview with Andrew Yang, and then you watch Chuck Todd's interview with Andrew Yang, like, you could see why people... Chuck Todd speak to Andrew Yang, and then watch people who have the exact opposite political opinion of Andrew Yang speak to Andrew Yang outside of their party, and it's just, it, it, it blew my mind. Okay. So we're still taking 18 milliamps, so even with everything unplugged and out of here, we're still getting the same problems. I'm going to turn on my multimeter. I am going to take a big risk here and turn on Paul's multimeter software and pray that it does not crash my computer since I just reinstalled everything from scratch yesterday. Let's see what we get on our PP bus G3 hot. So it looks like PP bus G3 hot is 0 0.07 volts. That is not a lot of volts. Why is my EPS going off? One moment. I'm going to check the resistance to ground on that. But first, I want to figure out why my EPS is clicking at me. Right. It's weird. Does that include how to fuck up a flood? Like a E word. Okay, I'm really missing something there. I don't understand what you were getting at. 
Wow, okay, 8.3 ohms. So we have a short to grounds on PP Bush D3 hot. Now the reason that I found this particularly interesting and the reason I wasn't expecting to see a short to grounds on PP Bush D3 hot is if you take a look, it was only taking 18 milliamps and typically the ISL9239 chip can really drive a hard amount of voltage, a hard amount of amperage through even into a short. Even into an 8 ohm short, it's gonna deliver something like 200, milli, you know, 200 milliamps, something like that. And it's not doing that here, which is strange to me, because I would expect it to. So, let's see if anything looks obvious here. Now, I kind of wonder if it has to do with this area, because there was that little smoky, fire-ish looking thing on the metal connector to this. I'm going to turn the board around, and right over there I don't see anything. So let's see if any of you see what it could be. Okay. I think I got it. I think I found it. Let me just move on over here. Put it under the microscope camera. By the way, folks, let me know if you think the image has gotten any better. So I think I found the root cause of my problem here. Another tantalum capacitor in another MacBook that said, I'm done with this. I'm not suffering the indignity of being inside of this MacBook. One more second. I'm, go I'm going home. Bye now. Ah, shit. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> what a MacBook. Hmm. Does it look better if I turn HDR up and turn exposure down? Let's see. Eh, it's a little on the washed out side. Eh, it's washed out. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to get that cap off of the board. And when I get the cap off of the board, we're going to see if the board works again. What range on the multimeter is considered a short? Well, uh, ohm. So you're going to be in ohms mode. And a short circuit, it, honestly, what you got to do is you got to usually compare it with a good board. So one thing I would do is check out any video that I've done on the 00045 and see if you can actually find out where I measure what the impedance is to ground after I replace U4700, because I honestly don't even remember what it is off the top of my head. But the thing is, you don't adjust. You're not going to adjust the range of the meter based on what a short is. You're going to adjust it based on the number you're getting. So if you're measuring and it says 0 0.0002,000 kilo ohms, you know you're in the wrong range because you're in the decimal points. You want to be in a range where you have detail. So you want to m move the range until the decimal point moves over. That's the idea. So this cap clearly got mad. It was sick and tired of being inside of a ship book, and it decided to explode. Which, you know, makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't want to be inside of a MacBook. I'm not sure if, uh, if suicide is considered, uh, you know, the proper way out, but my eyes melted from too much light illuminating the board. Now I'm blind. To whom do I address the lawsuit? Simple Mac. I believe 33 or 35 St. Mark's Place, courtesy of Sonny. All right, that cap came right off. But it did leave uh, quite a bit of disaster and mess on the board under it. But we were able to just kind of wipe that off. So I'm, I'm trying to heat the pad as well as the cap remnants. Now I'm going to kind of soak it up in this vat of solder that has some nice flux built into it. Uh, scrape so that, you know, I clean the pad of the board. I, I don't want to be putting solder on top of corrosion. I want to be cleaning the corrosion and scraping it off of the board. And then, just for good measure, we're going to wick up that solder. Do you care if viewers stop in just to check it out if they're visiting the city under normal circumstances? I'm not a very social person, so I'm, um, if pe people can stop by, it's just they're most likely going to be incredibly disappointed. Most people, because like when I'm streaming or I'm doing something, I have a, you know, I, I'm me, and then when I'm not streaming, I'm just a quiet person that sits in his chair and reads his Bloomberg and... 
I would mo it's weird usually. But people expect a more animated character out of me than I feel like being when I'm off camera. But you can come in and see the place. You'll notice it's more of a mess in person. Okay, so we have cleaned off that section, we have cleaned off the pads, and I'm just gonna lower that exposure over there. Or not. I thought I'd light a little. Well, I think you should visit Paul Daniels. Because if you go there, you can get hunted by a kangaroo or an alligator or something. Send the losses to Paul or Steve. Why does that strike me as not the real Sonny? So now what I'm going to do is I gotta, I'm going to grab a cap of sitter from my donor. And I'm going to put it on this board and it's most likely going to turn on. I'm not even going to check and see if my short circuit is gone. I think that's a waste of time here because it's so obvious that that is the component that was short circuited that I think it's a, it's, it's a complete waste of time to even take the multimeter probes and measure again. It doesn't look like this is some, this is not widespread liquid damage where I have to worry about stuff all over the board or anything like that. This is a very clear cut, obvious case. But I do need to measure to figure out which side is ground. Crap. Let's see. So this side is the PP bus side, and this side is going to be the ground side. Didn't you read the username? You are not the real Sonny. You are a troll. But then again, Sonny is also a troll. Okay, so... Yes, Donald. The side that is ground is going to have zero ohms resistance to that little piece of copper above the screw hole. So I found out my parents kept getting emails from the Korean military back in Korea. Huh? What did Kim Jong-un's have to say? As a minium, solid polymer caps are much more reliable than tantalum. This doesn't make sense. Was this cap even on the right way? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so the line does go to ground side. Here the ground's the left side. Aluminium. Fixed first MacBook last night, A2000165, all rails present. PP3V3S4 low, PP3V3S4 enable, had a dot between pins on CD3211. Fixed with butane, hot air torch, and radio shock pro line, 40 watt iron and flux. That's awesome, Matthew Spriggs. Also, James Hancock, if you're here, do you see that? Do you hear that? I want you to learn from this. If you're learning how to fix this stuff, start on something like an A1466 MacBook Air, not a freaking A1534. A1534s make Chris and Paul cry here. And you're a beginner, and you're starting on the machine that's the most difficult. You're a madman. That's insanity. Sean Hannity. All right. I 
That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that you got somewhere with it. All right, so what we do now, fitter, happier, more productive Korea. This message is sponsored by our friends at Best Korea, says Kopez. All right, so it's at 5 volts, it's taking 1.1 amps, which is strange. It usually doesn't take that much until it switches over to 20. Now it's switched over to 20. Whoa! Ew, that smells awful. Okay, so... That's a strange one. Let's try that again. Well, definitely could smell that through the mask. Question for you, any idea why it'd be difficult to remove a cap from an 8146 with almost 900 degree hot air? Uh, your hot air station is a lying piece of shit. I'm taking a guess. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to get another donor with a different capacitor. Ew. Now the office smells like that freaking cat. I'm going to turn the air filters up a little bit. Oh, gross. My office smells like pop. Pop? Pop. Pop? Pop. Pop smoke. It smells like pop smoke. Here, donor, 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 donor. This. I can't find my donor board, but I find Nerf Dart. Two eight one. Can I have a full one? Oh, Jesus Christ. Two eight one. No. I'll settle for a nine two three. No. Maybe. I want one stupid peepee bus cap, and I don't want to open the board view. I should just open Here, the fucking. The fuck? Is it the wrong wing? Yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, fine. I'll just find the cap off of using the board. I don't want to open Paul Daniels software. I've been having such a good stream. <laughs> like I'm happy right now. This looks better. It's getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Huh. All right, plan B. We're going to be opening Paul Daniels' software. Ah. It's having such a good day. Such a good day. Why? I don't want to. I don't want to open that software. Ugh! Her cat videos make me happy. Why, thank you. Mr. Clinton says thank you. Okay, C7680 is gonna be over here. Why the fuck is that showing up upside down?
transform. Rot. What the fuck? Up there. Well, thank you. Okay. So that is the same cap that can be found. I'm one of your fans from Indonesia. I'd like to tell you how much I've learned from your videos and streaming, and I learned a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Wow. I'm on my, man, a lot of people are giving today. I'm on my way to paying back that $5,600 fine. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, what is that cap that went bad? C7680 is... A 33 microfarad cap. All right, so now where can I find some other 33 microfarad polytan 16 volt caps? Control F. 33 microfarad. Next, next, next. That's 0.33, no. Okay, so we got some over here. Okay, bam, I could just take one from over here. Beautiful. I could just take one of the CPU caps. Easy, breezy, 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 breezy. Bam, just take this one. See, all of that, just because I didn't want to open Paul Daniels' software. If you fix the smoky board, I'll buy the office donuts. They're actually doing a lot of moving right now, so they need something more nutritious than donuts. They're moving all the cabinets out there into place where they, where they should be, all the shelving. They're finally taking the time to make things a little nicer. I'm debating whether or not to get one of those Dos Toros burritos I had yesterday. That thing was fucking good. But Erica made me lunch, so I'm going to eat the lunch that Erica made me first. Thank you once again for your help and advice. James, stop it! Thank you for the two great British pounds, but th I cannot keep taking your money. Yeah. Are you telling me my free donuts are not good enough? I'm telling you that you're trying to make them fat, and if they're fat, they can't do manual labor. And if they can't do manual labor, they're useless to me. I usually do a lot of my work outside of the microscope and I'm not recording and every now and then when I'm trying to do quick fixes like this I forget that I'm streaming. So, yeah, but a lot of the stuff that I do I don't use the microscope for because in the beginning I didn't have one. So I had to make do without it. Alright, so we do a little bit of Rapid cool technology, and remember, uh, I, it's good to clean the desk as you're as you're working along. You know, it's I like to try and keep my desk organized, and the best way to try and keep your desk organized is to do this as you go. You know, put your screwdrivers back where they're supposed to be as you go. Put you know, clean the nastiness off of the desk as you go. It makes everything quite a bit easier. Okay, so let's see what we get. Yeah, I'll turn it. No smoke. Now it's probably restarting itself because it seems understandable. But as you can see, my PP bus is a healthy 12.65 volts. Every boy deserves a PP bus of 12.56 volts. None of that 12.22 rubbish. And if I put this on the camera, you'll see. that it boots up, gives me a nice logo on the screen. Stop shaking.
Can you not use USPS? Half their staff are on strike and packages are not getting delivered. Um, uh, packages not getting delivered and shit like that has been going on with USPS for me for like seven years, so. Like when people say the service has gotten worse with Corona or you don't understand, sometimes packages don't get delivered. It's like, oh, really? Tell me more. Tell me more. Legit check your email in a minute. Will do. But let's see if I get anything on the screen. Okay, it's taking an amp again. I should at least get the low battery logo off, not anything else. Low battery logo. All right, we're good to go. And that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something, which is if you're going to take a cap off of a donor board, don't grab the cap that's meant for the 3.3 volt rail and put it on the 12 volt rail. That's bad. <laughs> but in the end of the day, it's fixed working. And good to go. Hey, every now and then, you're going to get trolled by something. I actually just got trolled by one of those little damn rubber things running away. You know the rubber things that go over the charge port? God damn it. These things escape constantly. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you little fuck? Did you fall off on the charger? No. Jesus, this is so aggravating. These little charger rubbers, they like to run away. It's so fucking aggravating. See? This thing? So Apple should never be allowed to make a condom. These things just come off so easy. 19 model. It's built into the charge port, so it doesn't do this. But on the 2016-17 model, that thing just runs around willy-nilly. I swear. What would happen to the birth rate if Apple made condoms? My god. Can't even put a fucking rubber properly. So where did that thing go? It was literally just there, and it flew away. This is why I have spares, luckily. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And as always, I hope you learned something. Cut. If Lewis hadn't resisted using Paul Daniels' software, it wouldn't... Have, yeah, but if I didn't use Paul, if I used Paul Daniels as software, you wouldn't have gotten to see something go on fire on stream. And isn't that what you want, what you guys actually come here for, for being honest with ourselves? I have a kitty. My kitty is named Mr. Clinton. Mr. Clinton the cat. Mr. Clinton the cat, Mr. Clinton the cat, Mr. Clinton the cat, Clinton the kitty. Do some notes on this ticket. Okay, fuck. I'm in the wrong window. I can't see that. Condom joke. Count one. Yes. gonna drive me fucking crazy. Yeah, I found a magnet. These air filters did a pretty good job. It sucked up all the smell of that nasty ass cap pretty quickly. Uh, 
I object to the length of this walk to put machines in the cabinet. We could get a conveyor belt system like BNH. I want a conveyor belt like BNH. It's ridiculous how far you have to walk to put something in the slots. Can we take the panel behind the IKEA shelf down? What's up? Can we take the panel behind the IKEA shelf down? Yeah, sure. Where are the rest of them? Basement and uh, up here. Oh, cause I didn't, I, di I didn't hang the brown and the beige ones because yeah, I didn't know where we were gonna put this. Yeah, that I one. Gonna, I was gonna put, a, try to put up the rest of them. No, I mean, don't wait. I, I wanted, to, don't waste them by having them behind the cabinet. But the the cabinet's completely transparent. Yeah, but it doesn't make the noise that it does, let's say, back there. See, ah, you have all that. It's over here. It's like, ah, da, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'll, we'll find where to put them. Once you know where everything goes, then I want to put panels around where you put the stuff. But this is pretty. This is getting much better. Yeah, I still don't think we know where everything goes. Though. I genuinely object. Yet, but we need to clean it. Like, it's that's, getting there. It's getting there. I want to be an H-rack. I, I want to be an H uh, conveyor belt. I don't like this. <laughs> it's impossible to remember the slot from there to there. I start with G19, I get up there and I'm like <laughs> writing like X5 for my battleship. All right. Time to eat some of Erica's lovely lunch that she prepared for me. Let's see what Erica prepared for me today. Uh, crap. Can't see my screen. Let's put the chat back on. Wondering, are there any other companies who are as stingy on repairs as Apple is? Oh, it's possible. The thing is, Apple is not like the worst at every single little thing. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. Let me, let me, let me uh, rephrase. They're not the only one. It's just that Apple is the best combination of their douchebags regarding repair. They make it difficult to fix the device. And on top of it, they make devices that are not durable. And on top of that, their devices cost a lot of money. So there are other companies that suck at repair, but the shit's cheap, so it's like if it breaks, it's not that offensive. Then there are companies that suck at repair, but the device is somewhat durable, so you're not gonna, even if their repair sucks, you're unlikely to have to use it. But then you have Apple products, where you have all these random defects and flaws and glitches, and they, they are products that are sold at a premium because of the supposed superior user experience. Okay, I sprayed my, my hands off. I killed the corona on them with my spray bottle. Mm. 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 DNA, I looked it up on the board view, that's the thing, because I was curious, why is it the bar is on the left? But according to the board view, that cap was supposed to be on that side. I mean, the bar was supposed to be on the positive side, which I didn't, I mean, on the negatives. The bar was on the ground side, which I found really strange. Uh-oh. Hmm. Lentils, rice, and tofu. Yay. Hmm. If you microwave that for 15 to 30 seconds, it'll kill the virus. It's already warm. I'll toss it in again just for the hell of it. Hmm. If I really wanted to kill the virus, if microwaving it kills it, what if I put my hand inside the microwave? Hmm. 
I could put my hand inside the microwave and kill it. Hmm. Wonder what happens if I microwave myself. Tofu, lentils, brown rice. I get curry chicken salad. Yes. Right? Mmm. Hello, Leo Levy. Found new schematic link in chat. Only posted one image. What schematic link? What are you talking about? Amy, once I'm not ashamed of what it looks like. DNA, you can stop copying and pasting it now. I read that the last two or three times you copied and pasted it. Hmm. I acknowledge that already. Hmm. hmm. Five out of ten. Almost done. Mmm. 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 Lentils. Lentils, plain tofu. And rice. I'm actually starting to get rid of a lot of my bloating. I noticed yesterday I was pretty happy with it. Like, most of my bloating is gone now. Because I used to have this, like, bleh, sticking out, and now I really. Doing more cardio. Trying to chew my food more. Because I was. I was Eating way too fast, and I wasn't chewing as much. That's a big part of it. Why does my UPS keep clicking? Okay, I'm gonna wash my fork. Is that the broke? Is that the dirty one? Yes, who the fuck? 
did not I, label that. I put it in the box. Oh, you son of a gun. I put it in the garbage. What yeah, do you want? That's a good one. No, that, the good one was up there. The bad one was in the garbage. Next to you mean six feet away from. No, that one was there. You remember what we were You mean in the, in the garbage. This isn't recyclable. This is garbage. It's recyclable. You can reuse that dust. You can fit another, wow. You can fit in another station in here, if that's what you're saying, yes. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> There's so much more fucking space. You can fit so many more Orhans in here. <laughs> yeah, actually. Just in port, in port. Uh, here, Orhans. Those have to get hung up in the front, by the way. Basement for now? Yeah. Ask Paul if he can hang those up in the front uh, to replace those fluorescent because it's, it's only two left. It might as well get done if we're cleaning up stuff. <laughs> Paul, what's needed to hang these two in the front? Because it's, like the, it's the last two that have to go. No, there's, there's more downstairs too. I mean, it's the last ones that are the old ones that are yeah. up. After that, there's no more old ones. When I get time. Paul? I give your cue to an L? Huh? I give your cue to an L? <laughs> uh, no, no. no fix, no fix, no fix, no fix. This is all you, by the way. You're gonna have to fix all. Shit is leaking out of the back of it, like falling yeah, out. Yeah. MacBooks are leaking. MacBooks are always leaking. Thank God. It's good for business. That's there. This goes. We have so many more shelves now. It's yes. crazy. Do you want this? The other one's going around in this somewhere. Here. This could be a gym. This, yeah. We, we should put, put a boxing ring over here. We could put a gym here. Bang, bang. Well, you're going to need to put a gym. They're probably not going to. You're going to do this today, right? Come on. Come on that was not can I try? Can I? Wait, let me see. What, do you, what did you do? Just... Don't beat on him. Okay, it depends where it lands. I see where it is. Yeah. Wait, so how does this supposed to work? Do you, are you supposed to land in between? Yeah, kind of. To okay. make it not hurt, yeah. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what he just did. One more with the other hand. Let's see. I, I'm not good with this hand. Okay, it really depends on where you land. But still, he's being a pussy. Yeah. For someone who's such a punk, that's a lot of pussiness I see here. Okay, stop. Let me see. Yeah, other hand. That doesn't hurt. That kind of hurts. Okay. You know what I'd really like to do, actually? I found this thing. JP. I thought I had left this at the old store, but I didn't. All I have to do is install the Potensic application on my phone so I can fly it. Don't tell them. 
I think this is going to be fun, actually. Potensic. I lost the other two batteries to it, and I used up my propeller set. But I, this is the last propeller set, and all the, I don't have the propeller guard, so I have to make sure I don't crash it into a wall. But I am definitely going to have some fun flying this into somebody. Okay, open the app. Quick start. Turn on drone. Level surface. Turn on remote. Press up, down on the left joystick. Connect the Wi-Fi at this time. Potensic. Connected. Uh, I forget how to pair this strip. Let's see. How do you pair this thing? Turn on drone and set down on a level surface. The drone will auto trim to its level surface. All lights blinking red. Is this red or that's more like a magenta or cyan? Lights flashing blue, back, and white front. Okay, it's not doing that. Turn on the remote. Let's see, turn on the remote. Come on, you piece of shit. Oh, connect app. Turn on Wi-Fi. Choose Potensic. Stop that. Stop beeping at me. Do I? Oh, I have to have location on the phone, don't I? Lights flashing. You can connect the Wi-Fi at any time. Connect app. Turn on Wi-Fi. I already did. Joystick at 1 and 11 o'clock positions. And I'm connected to the Wi-Fi of the drone. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Wait, I am. Okay, here we go. It, it says I'm connected to the drone Wi-Fi. Turn on remote. Connect app. Okay, joystick at 1 o'clock and 11 o'clock positions. Lights rapid alternate between blue, red, black, and white, red front. Nope. That's not, that's not working. Hmm. I forget how to make this thing work. Fuck. Did you realize I fixed the drone propeller, right? Yes. Now I have to figure out how to make this shit fly. Uh, flight record, no. Whoa. The battery is already half dead and I've been flying it for 10 seconds.
Uh oh. You are night and day from when you started trying to pilot this stuff. No, I mean it's it's four times the space. Yeah, Elsa, I don't. I, I really should get propeller guards. You and have them. They grow quickly. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was a miracle. No, I, I broke the propellers, but Cope has replaced them with the spare propellers that... Yeah, who wants speed three? Uh, I'm good. Speed three. Let's see how fast... Whoa! Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, my leg. <laughs> Whoa. Now, that's going to hurt someone. It won't hurt someone. Only Orhan. Whoa! <laughs> I got it! I got it! I got it! Man down! I suck. You have the ID on you. Fly this outside. No, you can't. It just makes it remotely. It's way too big. You can't fly this outside. I'm gonna get arrested. I'm gonna get arrested. Well, you have the idea on everything. Steve's gonna get arrested. <laughs> Your fingerprints are on the remote. You're right, actually. How clear is the screen? It's like three. It's like 480p yeah, camera. Yeah, I can still see my ball. So it was up there. Whoa! Wind! <laughs> wind! Fuck! <laughs> this piece of shit! <laughs> Steve, help! <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking wind! Piece of shit! Piece of I thought because it's such a big drone that it would survive outside! I mean, it's a hundred dollar draw. What do you get? It was, but this thing. <laughs> that was fun. All right, uh, JP, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the video the next time I fly this. I'm going to have the camera on the other side of this door in the front. I wasn't really prepared for this as I should have been. It's really windy outside today. It's very windy outside today, so I didn't expect this to... I had some faith in it, but... Okay, probably do some work. Yeah, it's really, really windy. Ooh, 
Eat it. You can have the vegetarian one. Is there a vegetarian one? Yes. I'll eat the vegetarian one. Thank you, Christopher Kelly. It's the one that well, you had before. Yeah. The veggie one's clear. I'll take a veggie one. The, the bottom left Avocado on the... and these two are veggie, so I have avocado and cucumber. Ooh. What do you think? What is this? What is this? Chopstick? Tuna or salmon? This looks like tuna. That looks like uh, yellowfin oh. tuna. That's salmon. Uh, it's clean. Can you can? No? I think I think we have a, like. A... Ooh. Or or fork. I'll try a stick. That's definitely salmon. Yeah, it's crab meat. Possibly, or that mm -hmm. might be shrimp. Oh, maybe. Like maybe. Ooh, avocado. You say this tuna, this... This is regular tuna, and this is yellowfin tuna, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'll take some avocado one. Thank this you. This one then, uh, is really good. Cucumber. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. This is right. one. Yeah, that one. Sample. Don't say anything. <laughs> okay, avocado. Soy sauce? Soy sauce? Yeah, and ginger. Spicy sauce is amazing. You mean the, the green stuff? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It goes all the way up your head. It does. It's horseradish. I suck. Got it. <laughs> I'm a noob. I eat, I'm eating just like such an American right now. Mm -hmm. so that's why I ask if you want to work or not. Mmm. Thank you. This is good stuff. Thank you very much. You get ass cam view. I don't have a full size tripod there yet. Would a 16 piece bucket of fried chicken be healthy enough for your labor intensive workforce? JB! Stop it. I, Christopher Kelly got them healthy food. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's been 15 minutes and no one subscribed to me. Do you guys have nothing with your money? Do you have nothing better to do? This is free entertainment that I'm giving to you and you don't want to support me? Who is this? Are you thinking of saying who I'm thinking of? I saw a video on that recently. The chick? The chick. One that said, like, this is free. I know if you have time to watch Twitch all day that you have... To, that, that you have $10. Yes. Yeah, and if you don't, you need to get a job and stop watching me. Well, spread your fucking legs. I'll tip your legs. Like, oh, no. Did you see that video? The, the guy That's from really the UK the, with the English accent who went off on all of them? Oh, like, okay. legitimately, um, there's OnlyFans, and, uh, ask, <laughs> wait, what is it, Live Jasmine? <laughs> Patreon? Patreon, Live Jasmine, OnlyFans, that's where the money goes. Did you hear Steve's ringtone? It's cool. I can't. I, I have to eat like an American. I'm sorry. I can't use these freaking sticks. I don't know how the fuck anybody use, eats with sticks. It's insanity. America. America, we use pointy shit. This is America. Freedom. Fork. I'll spray my hands with some alcohol again. Die, Corona. Die. Hands have been sprayed. I'll take that vegan one. Yoink. Thank you.
try one. They're very good. You wear a mask like a South Williamsburger. What if a 16-piece bucket of fried chicken, a gallon of southern sweet tea, coleslaw, mashed potatoes and gravy, southern-style green beans, healthy southern? Okay, I'm, a, I'm vegetarian and you're making me hungry. That's making me hungry. You're making me want to eat a chicken. Bastard. Hmm. Hmm. I'm charging up that drone again. After I do another board repair, we're gonna fly that thing right in the... Right through Steve's hard drive. Did you eat a fishy? Good fishy. Gorilla, gorilla. Musty Corona. Remove the Corona from every surface. Ah. Ah. Where the hell did I put my uh, phones? I'll, be... I'll fix another MacBook in a moment.
just a moment. Here we go, found it. I was showing the sushi. Oh, okay. You okay. missed oh, the sushi. Why, why, why was that on? Because I didn't know. I saw it was on, but I didn't know you, you, you were doing. Where is it was your only fan stream. I had it pointed at your chair from a low angle, oh. so people could watch you. Are you following me? Are you stalking me? Are you going to cause someone to trip with this? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to make this better. Yeah. No ass cam, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'm wearing this the wrong way, aren't I? Have you considered a standing desk? No, I don't want to stand all day while doing this. Is this thing supposed to go? Does it go like this? That can't be right. That's incredibly uncomfortable. No. Does it go like this? This seems to be the way it goes. But that looks weird. You know what? I'm just going to do. point goes over your nose. This, that's the point. How does this thing go on, Paul? Paul? Do I look like Paul? Oh, crap. Uh, how does, ten, ten times bigger than Paul. How does this thing on. go on, Steve? How do you, what is uh, this? Yeah, like that, and you just tie that around. Like this? Yeah. Make it a, a noose of some sort. Uh, now you look like a ninja, actually. I'm bringing my clippers, so I'll, I'll give you a, a cut on live stream. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder. There were many triggered people at Erica's haircutting. Seriously, those sushi selections are acceptable for the crew, and I'm never sure of Connery. Although that was, that was excellent sushi. Thank you very much. I thought it was, someone said Chris Kelly got it, but now I see Kel Comet, so I'm a little confused there. Whoever got that, thank you very much. That was amazing. Good 
Corona, Corona, ah, 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 ah. If this is a jock strap, it smells pretty good. I wish my ball smelled that good. Man, I would have gotten much further in life. If my ball smelled this good, man, I would have gotten a lot further in life. Um, no lie. Kel Comet, Christopher Kelly. So you're Christopher Kelly. Okay, cool. That was an amazing sushi selection. Everybody loved it. Thank you very much. It's a bra strap. Hmm. Robustness. Robustness. Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to get started working on yet another dead MacBook. Here we have an A1708 that's not powering on. Let's open this thing up, see what's wrong with it, and see if we can make it work again. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the coronavirus from this MacBook. I got soy sauce on my other mask, so... We're going to use this strangeness for today. The problem is this thing kind of falls off of your face, and then the... I think my gigantic nose would keep it there. Hmm. Corona-free hands. Okay, so... How the fuck is this supposed to fit on your face? Does this go here? No. It goes here. Maybe it's supposed to go on the up top side of your head? Ah. Okay. This doesn't fit well at all. Like, shit. Eh, I didn't bring my book bag so I don't have my other mask either. Yeah, this does not fit. Or, it's kind of weird. Hmm. Above ears. Place the string behind your ears and on the top. So behind my ears, and then on the, t on the top. Okay, behind the ear. Okay, I got the behind the ear part. Above ear, yes. And then on the top. I have no idea what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Huh. I'm wearing this because I fucked up my other one, and I have the rest of them in my bag, which I left at home. Okay, so put, put the string behind your ears, and on the top. Okay, so I got the first half C80, but not the second. Your dude's old breath and run home. Isn't it? Between the ear and the head. Dater said, then around the head. That's not a complete sentence. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's see. Shitty mask, it should have two straps. It looks like it has this and this. Is that not two? Huh. 
Top of head. That's also an incomplete sentence. I'm going to stop reading Twitch now because it's pretty useless. Let's see what YouTube has to say. Uh, from the angle, it goes straight over your ears, pinning them to your head. No. I'm calling the Blasio snitch line. Hmm. Wrap both strings in a circle around your ear and tie. Wrap both strings in a circle around your ear. Ah! Huh. Maybe like this? Ah, oh, my ear. Okay, that, that's not going to do it. How the son of a piece of shit above ear. So like this, and then what? Huh? Put the mask on under the ear flaps, then up and not on top. Under the ear flaps. All right, let's try that. Under the ear flaps, then up and not on top. Ow. I think it means tie it at the bottom of the back here. Ow. This, huh? No. Okay, under like this and then tie at the back of your head. Then we're back to where we were at the beginning though, I believe. That doesn't make any sense, because now... Over the ear, then tie at the middle of the head. You had your chance for a complete sentence and you that time is, time is now gone. Okay, this actually seems to work. It stays over the nose, under the ear, and it will fail. Now you choose to have complete sentences. Now you choose to speak English. It's too late! YouTube chat has already told me how to put the mask on. YouTube chat wins again. Okay. Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to be working on yet another dead MacBook. Kind of feels that way, doesn't it? So, first thing we're going to do here is remove the coronavirus from this A1708 that got sent in. Okay. Now we're going to Take the screws out of this thing. It's okay, C80. I just like picking on Twitch. mask. I cancel you, coronavirus. I cancel you.
Okay, I'm gonna take the bottom off of this MacBook. And someone else has already tried to take the bottom off, so I'm not excited about this. Okay, so a couple of things to note. First, the battery screw is missing. The trackpad cable looks like a minor, maybe puncture mark there from an idiot. Otherwise, not too badly damaged. We'll know if it's too badly damaged once we get and dig inside this thing. But let's start and let's see what's inside here. All right? So what do we got? So the first thing that I usually do is see how much power it's taking because that's going to give me an idea of what's going on with it. Checking how much amperage it's taking from the board is taking by itself by unplugging the battery from a USB-C amp meter is kind of like taking someone's pulse, blood pressure, and temperature when they first go to the doctor. So when we plug this in, 5 volts, 28 milliamps. 5 volts, 28 milliamps. And then it goes to 20 volts at 0, 0.000 amps. So that's an interesting one. So the first thing I'm going to be interested in doing is seeing what voltage my PP bus G3 hot is. This is a 13 inch Alexander. And my PP bus is 0 volts, a straight up 0. So now the next thing I'm going to be interested in doing is my PP bus shorted to ground. It's not shorted to ground, so that's interesting. So I'm going to take it out, and my guess is going to be that the ISL9239 has water damage. Let's see what we can get when we open this thing up.
Any news on right to repair legislation? Nope. Oh, and the screen cable. Look at this. Whoa, look at that screen cable. Totally broken off. What a douchebag. That's cool, Josepher. What state? Yeah, you fuck, you, you morons. I can't believe they broke that off. It's so easy to not break that cable. That's not one of the that's not one of the cables that's routed like a trick. That's just being a dumbass. Too general a question, boink. He sent you a donut? Yeah, he sent donut. Donuts! Trying to say we're fat, JP? That's not healthy! I told you, healthy food! Yeah. How are they supposed to do their moving? I can smell- I know, right? Who are these absolute units behind you, by the way? <laughs> can you switch to the camera? <laughs> this one. Yum. Mm. These are actually delicious, Carl. Thank you. I, want to see how it looks I can't eat those. What do you want me to be? Someone who can only do five pull-ups? Hey! <laughs> hey! You can't even do five. It's on! I'll give you a handicap of ten. Those smell delicious. Everybody says thank you. Yes. Uh, tell him, he asked yesterday, uh, I want to take a look at a helium drive. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, th you think it'll be fun? I think it'll be fun. It's just, when I open it, obviously. Steve said he's, he's open to doing a recovery on a helium on live stream. Let's no, go for it. Not recovery. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do a recovery on live stream of your helium. <laughs> I don't know if JP is still here. I hope he is. Thank you, JP. The donuts are much appreciated by the staff that are... Now we're even further from being able to do a pull-up than they were before. Thank you, DeadX and Nate. Nah, no donut for me.
All right, let's look at this board in the camera. Let's figure out what's going on here. Natty, Bonic, these are uh, Tor. Yeah, mostly Apple products, but we do data recovery on many devices. Natty, probably yes, I just don't remember or don't care. What's with all the touristy questions? Very touristy. The picture is shaky because it is. That's that. So let's start with the area that's the worst, the corroded probe point. Now we're missing PP Bush G3 hot, so it's really strange to me that the corrosion is by the CD3215, since we are getting 20 volts in our charger. The, cor the corrosion is on the part that doesn't have the problem, not the part that does have the problem in the circuit. And that's going to present difficulty in troubleshooting. So let's go over to Paul Daniels' board view software. and find that little probe point. That's UPC XB SPI MISO. So that's gonna be where my CD3215 chip communicates with something else. The problem is every time I click it, there we go, that, that's where it's gonna communicate with TBT X SPI MISO which is gonna to go to my Thunderbolt chip over there. So TLDR, while I should make that look nicer later, that's not the actual source of my problem. We have another resistor in the area that looks nasty as well. And we could take a look at that resistor. And that's, but that's again, another thing related to USB. So I doubt that that's going to be the cause of my problem. UPC fault XA. Not it. Not even close, actually. So, mm. let's look at my ISL 9239 area. The ISL 9239 area looks nice and clean. No damage that I can tell. and our PP bus is still 0.1 volts. I find it hard to believe that there's no short circuit on the rail that is dead. But I am going to have to start accepting 
that what I want to be the problem is not the actual problem. It's hard, though. Why PP bus missing? Not making sense. What is that little chip for? PP three V three S five S O R. So this chip takes PP three V three S five. Keep it up. I'm fascinated by your videos and learn something every time. Thank you, Christoph, for the 25 chafes. Uh, so it takes PP3B3S5 and turns it into PP3B3SO. But PP3B3SO is not, like, no, it's, it doesn't make, that's not the problem that we're having. We're missing the PP bus. Now, common sense would lead me to believe that this cap may be shorted because it's in an area that's nastily corroded, but it's not. What's all this rubbish around this chip? Yeah, the SMC. The SMC is going to control PP bus. And you have strangeness around you. I give you reha. They probably did. Also, Copez, stop donating back your salary. Current sensing measures the way it should. Yeah. 
Interesting, we're getting 50 to 80 milliamps now. And now I'm getting 6 volts on PP Bush G3 hot. So, I'm going to guess that the ISL 9239, which is what's responsible for PP Bush G3 hot, is my problem. Because when I heated it, I got a change. The ISL 9239, Apple calls it the ISL 9239 because, I mean, ISL 9659 because they don't have any idea what's in their own computer. Apple likes to talk a lot about how independent technicians and you don't know what quality you're getting, blah, 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 can only be serviced by an authorized technician. But one of the things you won't hear them brag about is that in their own schematics written by their own people, they don't even know the name of the chip that's in the board. So here it says U7000 is ISL 6259, which they actually stopped using in 2015. This is a 2016-17 model, which uses an ISL 9239, as it says on this other page of the schematic. But aside of Apple's jackass pompous crap, you could see that PP Bush G3 Hot is created by the ISL 9239. Now the interesting thing here is that the corrosion was over here, yet the chip that I believe is damaged is over here, which is very interesting. So I st what I did is I looked at the part of the board that had corrosion. I looked for what those specific things actually do. And what I noticed is that with that specific part of the board that was corroded, those were not the parts that I was having problems with at all. Has the part that was giving me a problem was PP Bash G3 hot. So I decided just to go for the jugular and reflow. And I got a change. So now I'm going to try replacing this chip with another one. And we'll see what happens from there. JP, what's, what's going on with the person you're stuck on the phone with? I'm cracking the chip just because I want to. I'm going to stab that chip a little bit. Let it know that we don't appreciate it being dead inside of a MacBook. And we're going to take that ISL 9239, toss it aside, do a minor cleaning of the area with my micro pencil. We're going to take a replacement chip. And put it right over there on our happy little board. And we're going to flow that chip into the board. I don't envy JP. Right now, JP is trying to talk someone who doesn't know how to use a computer through setting up a 30-person call center. JP, don't you have a, like a, why don't you have a Kevin for that? Or a Steve? All right, I just did a little tap on it just to make sure that it melted into place. Let it all cool off.
I think it's overexposing the video just a little bit there. I don't need that much exposure. We already did that, Lonnie. Now I can tell you aren't paying attention. And now I can send you to detention. So we do a little bit of rapid cool technology there. A little bit of rapid cool. Rapidly cooling. COVID-19. Okay, if this works, we can have a little bit of fun. What the fizz fuck? Right back where we started. Okay, so perhaps it wasn't rehotting the ISL that got a change, it was rehotting the SMC. Yeah. I'm kind of curious what happens when the SMC is warm now. It sure was, Andrew. Andrew, it sure was. Tell me why that doesn't matter. Ground. 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 I'm also going to reflow this area that looks weird. Reflow it all.
820-00840, one is. Rapidly cool yourself. Pure trollery. Pure trollery. It sure is. That's a rubber.
Hmm. 20 volts is going in. And JP's off the phone, but I still haven't solved my board. But it's not actually making what it's supposed to. And the only corrosion that I have is backlight and that USB stuff. Your backlight corrosion, I don't have to care about you. Checked already, Jeff M. checked high power enable but I don't know what this chip doesn't really have an enable so to speak it has a it speaks with the system management controller on the SM bus line so it's not like a straight up put 3.3 volts here to turn it on kind of thing Recheck the is you replace. Oh, Andre, Andre, Andre. Andre, Andre, Andre. Andre, Andre, Andre. Andre, Andre, Andre. Andre, 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 Andre. Andre, Andre. Andre, 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 Andre. Andre, Andre. Andre, Andre, Andre. Okay, so SMC reset in.
SMC reset in doesn't seem to be present, but I'm not quite sure how that would be or if it matters. This must be present to be getting the 20 volts. 20, 20, 20 volts, 20, 20, 20 volts. High power enable is there. Let's see, current sensing is there, VDDA and VDDP is there. SMC reset is high. SMC USB C is L is a signal that should be pulled up, and that's where the corrosion was. And the SMC is also going to be what communicates with the ISL 9239 and tells it to start making, start doing its job. I don't find that to be a coincidence. That SMC is for Cocta. I blame the SMC. The corrosion out there. I blame the SMC. I don't have a stencil for this though. That broken point over here doesn't really matter for anything. This is the one that... But that doesn't matter either. Those are not going anywhere. You've got to be high level assist SMC level trolling here.
Be right back. We're going to go consult with the master. Hello, Paul. How are you doing today? Mm, okay. If you have one volt on PP bus G3 hot, no short circuit, what is that usually? Ne current sensing measures just fine. High power enable is present. SMC reset is there. One volt? One volt. Sometimes 0.3. The last thing I think it could be is SMC. I've never had to change an SMC on one of those boards. <coughs> they seem pretty the only thing that was corroded, too, is backlight circuit and some CD3215. Which is normal. It's a total troll. But it had 20 volts, even though the uh, CD3215 area was corroded. So it's 20 volts, but still 1 volt? 20 volts but st uh, on input, but only one volt on PP bus. I tried changing the ISL 9239. I haven't like touched up any backlight circuit stuff, but that's just a waste of time since no PP bus. Wideboard troll. Also, are you able to turn on a microscope cam? So that our lovely audience can watch. I don't, I don't want to work on this. Well, I mean. It's awful. Really awful stuff. Ahem. Did I miss something? There's no short on PP bus. Two to, two kilo ohms and rising quickly. Can you try injecting PP Replace SMC? Never had to on this. I guess you could try. Do you have stencil? Uh, no. All I have is my universal money I can just pause for. Chris status. Hey, Chris, I have a board for you.
Can you get an elk? Get camera. Get camera. Two, now three. Yeah, I'll go to speed one. Hard drive data recovery. Drone is going to recover some data. Whoa, that was sweet. Okay, t tell me that wasn't good flying. That was risky, is what it was. That was not risky. I'm a crazy. I'm a great pilot. It's not risky when you're in a perf when you're a pilot like me. I flew it inside the clean room bench and out. That's soft. That's not easy. No, but this thing has no control. Let's try outside again. How long is that HDMI? Actually, never mind. It's not long enough. Hey, ah! You caught my drone. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Paul, do you trust me as a pilot? I'm a good pilot, Paul, trust me. No what? Custom. What happened? Custom. No, you need to oh. What speed is that? One. The what? The speed of the drone. How? Well, your phone and your computer. No. That's not gonna do it. Yeah, well. You need. I need to use. I need to stream a screen capture. But that would yeah. require starting a separate stream and running more software on the phone, and that's just. <laughs> oh, oh! You wanted me to land on your head, Olga? Is that what you said? This thing never lands. When you hit the land button, it always goes down and then bounces as much as it can. I need to get some more propellers for this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm not the amazing pilot that I think I am, am I? Why is it flashing red now?
This video feed has a minor delay to it. Okay, and not minor delay at all. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, wrong way. No! No! <laughs> the battery's depleted. Yeah. <laughs> Why does your mask look so weird? I don't know how to tie a mask. I'm dumb. That thing is so much fun. There's so much fun to be had with that thing. Time to recharge. Be right back. I'm going to get another MacBook in a moment. Actually, I think I'll end the stream a little early today. I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something. I kind of feel like ending it at the moment. <laughs>